hi everyone welcome to my class olu star class in today's class we want to look at how we can calculate the mean media mode and range of on group data mean media mode and range of on group data now let's look at the question the question says calculate mean media mode and range from the following set of data 85 96 76 108 85 80 100 85 70 and 95 solution The first one says mean. S bar is equal to sum of observation. over total number of observation. Mean as well can also be written as summation x i over n, where n is the number of observation, and then x i is the corresponding number of set of the data, or the corresponds where where n is the number of observation here. And the corresponding value of x i are 85, 96, 76 to what? 95. Now, from the question now, we are asked to calculate the mean. And the mean, by the formula, is given as the sum of observation. Our sum of observation are 85, 96, 76, 108, 85, 80, 100, 85, 70, and 95. And from the question, if you look at it now, let's look at the n. We have how many number of observation do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our n is equal to ten. Our xi are xi are we have eighty five. Ninety six to ninety five. Therefore, our mean now mean mean x bar, which is given us by the formula sigma or summation x i all over n is equal to we have. 85 that is sum of the observation plus 96 plus 76 plus 108 plus 85 plus 80 plus 100 plus 85 plus 70 plus 95 over 
our n from the question. What is the number of observations that we can count? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And our n here is what? 10 over 10. Me. X bar is equal to what? 85 plus 96 plus 76 plus 108 plus 85 plus 80 plus 100 plus 85 plus 70 plus 95 is equal to 880 over our N 10. This one we cancel this. That is 10 going is 8 or 80. Is equal to what? 88 times. Therefore, therefore, me x bar is equal to what? 88. I hope you understand the class now. The question says, calculate the mean, media mode and range from the following set of data, 85, 96 to 95. Then from the solution, we have our mean by the formula is equal to the sum of observation, which are 85, 96, that is if you sum them, you get the sum of observation all over total number of observation our n then from this place from this we have our n to be equal to what 10 our n is equal to 10 and the corresponding xi are the sum of 85 96 that is the set of data to 95 now our mean x bar is given us by the formula summation of xi over n then our mean is equal to 85 plus 96 plus 76 plus 108 85 80 100 85 70 95 over 10 then our mean is giving us 88 80 over 10 that is our mean is equal to 880 if you sum them together you have 880 over 10 which is equal to what 88 therefore our mean is equal to 88 now let's quickly find our median these are the following set of data given 85 96 76 to 95 but before you can calculate your median you need to rearrange the following set of data in ascending order that is the first one is what the smallest data there is we have 70 followed by 76 followed by 80 followed by 85 followed by 85 followed by another 85 Follow by 95. Follow by 96. Follow by 100. And the last one is what? 108. Now you can see down that. So we've rearranged the data in what? Ascending order. Now, since the data has been arranged in an ascending order, we need to quickly find our media. And if you look at the n observation that we have, we said our n, n is equal to what? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, therefore, median, since n is even, Median is equal to what? Since n is even number, then our median is equal to n over two observation plus 
n over 2 plus 1 observation all over 2 all over 2 now our n is equal to what 10 we have our n to be 10 you put your 10 here and 10 here this implies that median is equal to 10 over 2 plus 10 over 2 plus 1 everything over 2 now median is equal to 2 year 1 2 year 5 we have fifth observation plus 2 year 1 2 year 5 5 plus this one is equal to 6 6 observation observation now we have our median calculated all over two we have median calculated to be fifth observation plus sixth observation over two now how do we get our fifth observation if you look at the question that we be we did set of data that we have rearranged in ascending order let's look at the fifth observation the first is 70, second is 76, third is 80, fourth is 85, then the fifth one is what? 85. We have 85 plus, then let's look at the sixth one. The fifth one here is 85, then the sixth one is also 85. 85 again over then we have therefore 85 plus 85 divided by 2 then 85 plus 85 is equal to 170 over 2 median is equal to 170 all over 2 then our median is equal to 85 can you see it's very clear we rearrange the data in ascending order then we have our n to be equal to 10. Then from the formula, we have the first one is n over 2 plus n over 2 plus 1, observation all over 2. From there, we have our, we calculate our median, we substitute 10 for n, and we get 85, the fifth observation and the sixth observation, which are 85 and the sixth one is 85 over 2. Therefore, our median is equal to 170 all over 2. Therefore, median is equal to what? 85. Now, if you look at the question now, you can see our mean is 88 and the median is 85. The next thing that we need to do now, the third question is mode. Let's quickly calculate our mode. Then we can get our mode CZ set of data Roman figure 3 let's get our mode mode since the set of data has been arranged in ascending order then if you look at it we have our data arranged in ascending order and the mode is
the observation that occur in maximum number of time. Mode is this given as the observation that occur in maximum number of time or the number, the value or the observation that have the highest number of frequency. Mode is the set of observation that occur in maximum number of time. Now, from the question now, let's see. We have 70 appear how many times? 1. 76 how many times? 1. 80 how many times? 1. Then 85 how many times? 1, 2, 3 times. Then we have 95 how many times? Once. 96 once. 100 once. Then 108 once. Therefore, our mode is what? 85. Because 85 appear in 3 times. 85, 85, 85. Therefore, we say that our mode, our mode is equal to what? 85. Therefore, we say that our mode is equal to what? 85. Because it's only 85 that occur in maximum number of times. The last but not the least is our range. 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 You want to find the range? Our range is defined as the difference between the highest observation and the lowest observation. And if you look at the set of data given, the data has been rearranged in ascending order. Our highest observation here is what? 108. And our lowest observation is 70. Therefore, range is equal to what? Highest observation, 108. And lowest observation, which is 70. Range is equal to 38. Please, if you've enjoyed the class, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you.